the guys, I'm back with another, with another episode of Back to the Future. Um, in this episode, we're going to keep playing until we come back to the DeLorean, which doesn't take too long. So, yeah. Danak? Come from, boy. Didn't you bring Doc with you? So we're in the DeLorean right now, and there's a shoe and a tape. Tape, shoe. Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. It's not his. Marty? Ah! Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four-dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now. Or then. Or, uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past. Or oh, was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back, or, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark, Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right, Last Time Departed, Last Time Departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on, come on. Come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Come on, Einstein. I'm here. Got something for you. No, not there. There. What do you know about this, Shuiny? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? Buzzer? Step away from the door! Ah! Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Get along now! Scat! Uh, this one. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Shoes? It's not dogs. A shoe? Now, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Creature. Sorry, Einstein. You're a bad one. Well, took you long enough. 
Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Hmm, much better. So neat and orderly. Yeah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh... Have a seat, Sonny. You kids! Put out those cigarettes! Okay. Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Dr. Strickland? Uh, Mr. Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. Sorry, that was my phone. Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. <gasps> when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Okay. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch... No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history, my Aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously, the day after the speakeasy burned down. And finally this. Doing some stargazing? No, oh, I set my sights on the <laughs> lower things. Is that... Tim Tannen! Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! And exit.
Don't let me keep you from your business. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! What's a Kleenex? Please answer me in the description. Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. Not description. Uh, that. Comments, comments. Rebuilt in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date! Don't look at me! I'm far too old for you. Okay. Turn up the heating. Or is it turn it down? Yeah, turn it down. Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. Let's touch the newspapers. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley police station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let no! me... No! You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Ow! Oh, get out! Get out! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh, which one should I choose? That. It's uh, my uniform. Uh, didn't I tell you? I uh, I got a job at the Model T factory. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Never mind. You don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. You ready to go, Einstein? Okay, guys. I think I should end this here. Um, in the next episode, uh, just try to think how long the next episode will be. Um, I guess getting young emits on our side is how far we'll go in the next episode. Depends. Yeah, that's how we'll go. So, see you guys. Have a good day. Bye.